We are about to enjoy a story that has been told and retold for thousands of years. This is the wonderful story of our Savior's birth. The story begins with a young woman whose name was Mary. She was from a town called Nazareth, and she was engaged to be married to Joseph. To us, she seemed to be an ordinary woman, but to God, she was very special. So special that God sent an angel from heaven with a message for her. Greetings. I am Gabriel. I was sent to you by the Lord to deliver an important message. I understand. I'm not yet married. How can I have a son? The Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will bear a baby. The world will call him the Son of God. I am a servant of God, made happen according to his will. The angel departed leaving Mary anxious about the news of the baby. And she told Joseph, the man she was about to marry, all about it. Where are you, Joseph? I bear great news. I'm sitting at the table, Mary. What is it that you want to tell me? We are going to have a baby. What? How is this possible? We aren't even married yet. Yes, that's true. But no need to worry, because the angel Gabriel paid me a visit today. And? Well, he said that the God has blessed us with the Holy Spirit to carry his one and only Son, and that he will save the world from our sins. I have so many questions. What if... Yeah, I think I should get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow morning? Oh, okay. See you in the morning, I guess. I still can't believe what is going on. What will everybody else think? Mary and I are so young. How can we possibly be ready for a child? I should probably get some rest too. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she will give birth to a son, who will grow up to become the Messiah, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Mary was right all along. If it is meant to be according to God's plan, then so be it. I will do my best to be a good husband to Mary. Mary and Joseph went to their hometown to be registered from a faraway town called Bethlehem. Because Mary was engaged to be his wife, she came with him to Bethlehem riding a donkey. During the journey, Mary was very nearly ready to give birth to her baby. Although tired and weary, Mary and Joseph traveled for many miles. They went from Nazareth to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they knocked on every door in the town, looking for a place to stay, but everywhere was full of people. They were given the same answer. All the areas were filled with people. Mary and Joseph nearly gave up, but then they tried the very last guest house. Sir, please help. My wife is about to have a baby. Do you have a room where we can stay? I'm so sorry. All my rooms are filled with guests. Well, Don't I... you have at least one place we can stay? We'll take any space that you have. Well, I do have one option for you, though it isn't a pleasant one. All I can offer is my stable out the back where we keep all the animals. Thank you so much. We'll take the stable. Thank you. At least we have somewhere to stay. So Mary and Joseph want to stay inside the stable. At last, on this very faithful day, our Savior, Jesus Christ, was born. It was a very difficult place to bring a new life into the world. Dirty, smelly, unhygienic. But Mary and Joseph made the best of it. Meanwhile, in some fields nearby, a group of shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks. It was nighttime, and they were surprised to see an angel of the Lord appear in front of them. They were terrified. You see... These shepherds were just ordinary people going about their daily lives. Nobody took much notice of them, so they were surprised when an angel spoke to them. Do not be afraid. I bring you news of great joy. Today in Bethlehem, a savior has been born. You will find a baby lying in a manger. Well, this wasn't enough for the humble shepherds to take in. The angel was soon joined by a huge group of angels called the Heavenly Host. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth. The angels left and went up to heaven. The shepherds wonder what they should do next. What shall we do? Let's go to Bethlehem. Yes. Then we can see what has happened. 
I want to see what the Lord has told us. They decided that the best thing was to go to Bethlehem. As an angel said, they wanted to see what had happened, what the Lord had told them. When they had seen him, the shepherds told everyone they met about the child. People were amazed to hear the story. The son of the Most High, born in a stable. Someone who would be called the Son of God, placed in a dirty manger, with only poor shepherds to greet him. And there's something about this birth that is good news, particularly for the poorest people on earth. Hope to everyone in the world that they are accepted and can come to him, whether rich or poor, important or forgotten. Mary, who had seen it all happen, kept these things close to her heart. The wise men saw the child, and they worshipped him. Because you are the king of kings, I bring you gold. Because you are the son of God, I bring you frankincense. Because you are the savior of the world, I give you mirth. Each of them gave Jesus a precious gift, and that's why we give gifts at Christmas, particularly to poor and needy people. They went home even wiser men, realizing that the precious things are worth far more than money, and are not always found in the richest places. They realized that they should offer their wealth to Jesus, the Son of God, born into poverty, who is the friend of poor and needy people.